Elon Musk will create his own advanced artificial intelligence for the Tesla bot, and OpenAI will make a humanoid robot which will incorporate GPT-5. Google's robots are getting smarter. China is developing robo-taxis at breakneck speed. And robots have once again returned to the NYPD. This and other high-tech news, all in one video. Elon Musk has decided to fight the development of GPT in his usual manner, by creating his own artificial intelligence enterprise. The XAI company has already been registered, and thousands of GPUs for training the generative model have been purchased. All that remains is to find additional investors and developers. Now, interestingly enough, the name XAI echoes the new name of Twitter Inc., which is now XCorp. Now, some commentators believe that the new name reflects Musk's desire to make the app as multifunctional as possible, like the Chinese WeChat, to use it for payments, taxi orders, food delivery, and other services. Others speculate that XCorp will become the parent company for Musk's other projects, namely XI and SpaceX. Now, it's also worth mentioning that at the same time that Musk announced his new investment plans, OpenAI shared news about their investment in general purpose humanoid robots. So in the upcoming race, XAI will potentially try to create an advanced AI for the Tesla bot, while OpenAI will be working on a universal humanoid vessel for ChatGPT. The company has shown interest in robotics before. It designed its own robot hand, which can recognize objects by touch and manipulate them. Recently, OpenAI invested about $24 million in One X Technologies. We told you about them before, although back then they were Halodi Robotics. The company already has its own humanoid robot, Eve, with a wheelbase. That robot is quite capable, but it still lacks a pair of legs for greater feature variety. And it's these very legs that are supposed to be created with the investment money. The new bot has already been named Neo. We'll be able to see Neo on legs this summer. The creation of a dexterous humanoid robot powered by a strong AI will have enormous consequences, including dramatic changes in the labor market and enormous profits for investors. Such potential rewards are attracting more and more developers and investors. Moving on, the Chinese company Didi, which already owns a robo-taxi service, has unveiled a new concept. It's a level four neuron drone, a self-driving taxi whose main feature is a robotic arm for picking up passengers' luggage. Robotaxi isn't China's only drone service. For example, there is also a 24-hour robotaxi service in Shanghai with autonomous vehicles, autonomous parking, charging and washing. China is truly ahead of the curve in this domain. But judging by the video, this is more of an experiment than an optimized service, for now at least. BYD, a Chinese car manufacturer, has presented a supercar equipped with an intelligent body control system. The four-engine Yang Wang Dancing U9 is claimed to be able to dance, ride on three wheels, and even jump. BYD's DISA system is similar to the active suspension systems on state-of-the-art cars by Porsche and Mercedes-Benz. It helps reduce body roll, handle difficult off-road situations, reduce aerodynamic drag, and improve driving efficiency. DSUS includes three levels, an intelligent damping body control system, an intelligent pneumatic body control system, and an intelligent hydraulic body control system. Cruise is recalling 300 robo-taxis due to a minor collision with a bus. The company investigated and found that the robo-taxi failed to brake fast enough and crashed into a city bus that had slowed down in front of it. The accident was caused by an error related to predicting the movement of articulated vehicles, like the bus involved in the collision. The taxi successfully predicted the actions of the front end of the bus and reacted to them accordingly, but failed to assess the real position of the rear section. The company is urgently working on updating its drone software. Let's finish the car segment of the video with some Cybertruck news. A drone spied on the Tesla factory in Texas and filmed Cybertruck with a huge windscreen wiper. Full-scale production of the electric pickup truck is supposed to start this year, so the footage features the final or near-final version. The wiper looks a bit strange, but it seems functional. What do you think about it? Let us know in the comments. 
the New York Police Department have brought back their robots. To recap, earlier, some sections of the public were outraged by the use of the robots, and the police had to decommission them. However, a couple of years later, two Digidog robots are back in action. Digidog is a variation of the Spot robot modified for the police. It's designed to work in conditions that could pose a threat to people, helping them carry out their duties, for example, by checking dangerous areas. In 2020 and 2021, the NYPD used Digidog to scout premises where armed men were potentially hiding. By bringing the robots back into service, city officials went against public opinion. However, authorities believe that in situations threatening human life, it's better to use robots and that ignoring progress is an overall bad strategy. So in addition to the Robodogs, police will get the Guardian HX from Star Chase, a portable launcher that shoots GPS tracking tags at vehicles. The police will also have the K5 ASR machine by Nightscope, which is described as a fully autonomous outdoor security robot. The latter, along with Robodogs, will also be used for intelligence gathering. Dear friends, subscribers and viewers of ProRobot's YouTube channel, we are pleased to inform you that after a long struggle, our YouTube channel has been monetized again and we are preparing to resume the release of new videos in the same amount. We want to thank everyone who supported us in this difficult period. Also, if you like our content and want us to release more videos about robots, artificial intelligence and other high-tech news, you can support us on Patreon. You will find more information in the description below this video. We look forward to seeing you again and your feedback on the new format. See you soon. Disney has presented its new robot. The developers admit that their goal was not to make a reliable or accurate machine, but to establish an emotional connection between the robot and the viewer. The robot's movements are quite unstable, but that's even better, as when it falls, it's supposed to be as cute as possible and bring out the personality of the robot. The idea is that failure is simply a variation of the norm. Rejection is expected and even pre-programmed. This was the philosophy behind the robot designs for their previous projects. The most challenging part was combining durability, flexibility, thoughtful design and acute appearance. In addition, it should be easy and inexpensive for the robot to recover from particularly nasty falls. Engineers also developed a simple interactive software interface for the robot that allows the user to set key poses and sequence them, taking into account the physics of the robot. Elbit America has introduced the Excite sight helmet display, which enhances helicopter pilots' vision. Excite sight can be worn over a standard helmet and receives data from external cameras, sensors, radars, lidars, databases, neural networks and other sources. The helmet is claimed to give the pilot 360-degree visibility, as well as enhanced vision in darkness, fog, rain, snow and sandstorms. In addition, the pilot's field of view is augmented with a constantly updated stream of data on both flight conditions and the world around him. The developers try to provide pilots with the maximum amount of information while reducing their workload. Whether they succeed or not, we'll find out if the helmets are implemented. Unstructured Robotics and Motive Space Systems have teamed up to create a unique product for NASA. It won't just be an open space assembly and manufacturing system. The companies will develop Space ROS, an operating system for robots certified for spaceflight. It'll be used to create various robotic space applications with manipulators and more. Google has taught its robots to sort waste with the help of deep reinforcement learning, which includes two stages. First, real-world training at Google offices and special training classes. And second, simulation training. The task wasn't simple. 23 robots had to look for trash in the office, recognize it, find the trash bins, and figure out which one to put it in. It had to do this as quickly as possible. The success rate grew along with the accumulation of data and is currently at 84%. It took about two years to achieve this result. Reinforcement learning allows robots to learn complex behaviors by trial and error, getting better and better over time. Google believes that this is the best method to teach robots to adapt to a changing world. The company's engineers have previously taught their robots complex skills such as playing tennis, picking up objects, and multitasking, 
where robots perform complex commands by understanding and breaking them down into smaller tasks. In total, the researchers ran 540,000 tests in classrooms and 32,000 tests in three office buildings with 30 collection sites. Agility Robotics has treated us with a funny cat video, or rather, with the updated Digit Robot, which is being promoted as a near-ready commercial version of a smart warehouse assistant. But it doesn't seem to be a very good worker, because in the video, the robot clearly slacks off and wants to chat instead of working. No Digit, you should work so people can rest. On April 19th, 2021, NASA's Ingenuity Mars Helicopter Scout went down in history when it made its first powered, controlled flight on another planet. It has exceeded the expectations of its developers and recently celebrated its 50th flight on Mars. Now that's 45 more flights than had previously been expected. NASA recently shared the statistics. Altogether, Ingenuity exceeded the expected total flight time by 1,250% and the expected flight distance by 2,214%. By the way, NASA is already developing the second generation of Mars helicopters, which will be much bigger and more powerful. We can't wait to see them in action. Sanctuary AI has long been intriguing everyone with its videos of robots capable of the most delicate and precise manipulations. Recently, the company presented the robot's teleoperation system. In the video description, the researchers explain that the robots have three control modes, directly piloted by people, operated by people using pilot assist, and supervised by people while using the robot's built-in autonomous control system to observe, assess, and act on tasks. Well, we're waiting for examples of at least semi-autonomous performances. Naval Labs is collaborating with researchers at Korea University's Robotics Laboratory to conduct a study that aims to teach robots human-like movements. For this purpose, engineers have developed the Ambidex robot, whose joint structure resembles that of a human. The idea is to make robots as similar to their owners as possible, including their emotional perception skills, to facilitate robots becoming commonplace in our homes. Engineers at KimLab, the Kinetic Intelligent Machines Laboratory at the University of Illinois at Urbana-Champaign, held a great performance at the university's open house. We've already shared with you some of the elements of the show in our videos. Now it's clear what the guys were preparing for. If you're as passionate about robotics as we are, subscribe to our channel, like our videos, and stay tuned for more high-tech news.